Three. Three. Can we do speed round? Let's do it. Okay. Let's do a speed round. Um, Jack Matchell says, all right, Lids, question for you all. What's up? What's up? Doesn't matter. Go on. Question for you all. After watching Freddie Quinn kill it on Good Morning Britain, debating if it's right if actors wear fat suits for roles, what topic would each of the lids, including Phil, like to debate on some garbage breakfast telly show? Um, first of all, Freddie Quinn on uh, Good Morning Britain was one of the weirdest optics I've ever had to engage in. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. I don't know how they booked it. How he got on there. I can't believe he was on a news program and he hadn't murdered any women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, <laughs> that was the big surprise. Yeah. I woke up to tweets going, Have you seen Freddie? You're on Good Morning Britain. And I was like, Oh, how many of the they bodies found have you found? Found? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And it did. It was like, trying to get we're going to talk about, <laughs> yeah, we're going to talk about fat people. Here's uh, Preston Fat Cunt, Freddie Quinn. <laughs> Well, they got him in to be the, the fat guy who thinks fat people should shut up, didn't they? Yeah, he did a great job of it. Yeah, because yeah. he's a comic. Yeah, and she was... Right up his street. She was, yeah. and I mean this respectfully, big fat dum-dum. She wasn't great, was she? I, I, I didn't really listen to her. She wasn't good. I don't think you even watched her. I did. I watched the clip. It's hard to argue that, isn't it? Well, she was arguing. Awards, please, is that possible? Sorry. Yeah. Yes. She was arguing you have to be a fat person. I get, I get it because TV producers go right. This is a thing. Let's get two people with opposing opinions. Hers was a bit lame. It, I know there's like that culture of like, well, you can't do this, and these people should be represented by these people, and I get it, but but that's how the British public gets so with fucking a, stupid now with a fat suit. Isn't because that because they bring in some idiot that hasn't any fucking clue. And like, like if they're debating climate change, they'll get on like a scientist. Yeah. And then Novak748 from Twitter, <laughs> who's brought some memes. It's so funny though. <clears throat> and then I, they have to argue, the smart scientist has to take apart this. Isn't yeah. that thing like, oh, it should though, be one of, them, it? Like one of them people. Everyone can be fat. It's like, oh, don't have like, I don't know, like an Asian actor played by a white guy. Get that like in a, uh, like a poo. I honestly thought you were going to go, everyone can be Asian. <laughs> No, but you can't. It's the point. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Everyone can be fat. <clears throat> She's a fucking shut up. Eh? I didn't even listen to her, but it doesn't matter then. Her point is that it's hard to be fat and an actress and get leading roles. And that is one of the only leading roles in cinema. It, do you know what it was, they were talking about? It was, it's Emma... What's her name? Thompson. Emma Thompson is As playing Miss Trunchbull. Trunchbull. Oh, yeah. In the new Matilda. So what they're saying is that is a leading role in a movie. And there's so few of those opportunities for fat actors. They're always the fat mate, the, unf the, the funny friend, the sidekick. There's not very many opportunities for fat actors to actually play a leading role. So that should go to a fat person. What who... makes you fat, though? Like, at what level are you fat? Well, like it's on your CV. When I'm you start complaining actor. about it. Yeah. <laughs> when you start complaining about people saying stuff about fat people. Yeah, I'm a fat actor. I can't get, can't get that wrong. When you wake up out of breath. If you've ever woke up out of breath, <laughs> you, you can play Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> when you can't complete the scene as Miss Trunchbull because you're too fat, can you swing that kid around your head? I can't fucking knock it. I'm when you can't, dead fat. can't get inside the chokey. <laughs> so, the is it a fat person or is it a thin person in a suit? It's, it's a thin it's person Emma, in a suit. Emma Thompson. Emma Thompson. Who, who cares? Cool. Fat people care. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Why? <laughs> Oh. Because I, I, haven't watch it. I haven't watched it because you can shut up. <laughs> fat people like to see themselves as like a minority. I've had to deal with it when I've That's made like saying, fat shaming jokes. And everybody everybody like, can be fat. What? Everybody can be fat. Yeah. What's that? How's that? They're not a minority, are they? But they want to be. Yeah, well, do you not? So yeah, that's the world we live in. Everyone wants to be a minority because if you're a minority now, you get given opportunities ahead of non minorities. So that's what they're trying to do. Like, there's been a wave of like, you know. People are arguing that if you're not black, you can't play black roles. If you're not gay, you can't play gay roles. Fat people are just like, well, we're not getting any, and we won't get involved. And it's ju it's literally just that. Yeah, and that's essentially what Freddie did. I, I understand where she's coming from. I also just think it's a bit silly, and actors should be allowed to do whatever they want. Is there an Andrew Tate of fat people? <laughs> I think that's Freddie. It's Freddie. People it is Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> it's Freddie. Can you fat up then for the role? Why? Wow. Like, do that way, well, like, Christian um, Bale's Christian done it. Christian Bale, yeah. yeah. He does it. He changes his way for roles. Yeah, I know. Fucking shut up. 
I want oh, a God. real smackhead. Uh, this, this, is, this is becoming a trope. Towards the end of the day, <laughs> Carl just loses patience. He's like, fucking shut up. Next question. <laughs>